Hey guys, Doom Days here. Uh, sorry, man, I got a little bit of a sore throat, so I'll try to explain this as quickly as I can. Um, anyway, um, when you if you have installed Far Cry 6, this is this guide is going to show you how to mod it and everything. Okay, so when you open up your library and you go into your Far Cry 6. And then you're going to be, uh, you know, at your main game here. Scroll down just a little bit until you find this right here. Best mods for Far Cry 6. It should be fairly on the top. You're going to open it up. And for the sake of, of this guide, I opened it up on the browser. So it's the same guide. As you can see over here in the browser. So what I'm going to do is minimize Steam. Because we don't need Steam right now. So we're going to minimize. Whoops. <laughs> okay. Never mind. Minimize that. Okay. Now uh, we're going to minimize that. Now you're going to come over here in this guide. And make sure that, you know, uh, the first thing to do is go into your uh, user folder. Program files x86 down to Ubisoft down to your save folder in your save games and back that up just to back it up. And you're gonna go PC here, users here, and then go down to your um, wrong folder. Sorry, guys. Program files down to Ubisoft game and then there's your save games what i did is copied this folder and just made it as a backup keeping the original in the backup okay that makes sense pretty straightforward easy to do okay now once you've done that let's go back i can get there okay we'll just leave that Hang it. Hold on. There's a lot of videos in there. Hold on. Go back. All right, right there. So, um, and then in your Far Cry 6, and then that's where I had it. Okay. Now, sorry about that. So, now, you're going to go to this guide right here. And just follow this guide pretty much verbatim. It's really, really easy. Follow the guide. First thing you're going to do is you're going to download this program right here called Far Cry 6 Mod Installer. Okay. Once you downloaded that, the download of that file is right here. See the link right here. Okay. Then follow the follow the and extract it. What I did is I created it on my second drive and called it FC Mod Installer and then all the mods that let me go back. Hold on. Go back right here. All the you can do Far Cry 3, 4, 5, and 6. And then when you extract this file right here, when you extract this file, you're gonna put it inside of FC Mod Installer on secondary drive or whatever. Don't put it inside, uh, you know, any other right protected area per se. Once you're done with that, then now and all the mods that you're going to be downloading or installing are going to go in the FC6 mod folder. And all your mods are in here. See, I have all the mods in this folder. They only go in this folder. Unless you're modding Far Cry 5 or 4 or 3 or whatever, then they would go in there. But... For now, we're only doing Far Cry 6. So all your mods will go into that folder. Once you have it installed, there's what it looks like. See? Basically the same thing I'm showing you here. Okay? Get out of that. Follow what it says to do here. Then when you come down to here, all your mods will either end in A3, A2, AE extensions. As you can see, when you look in Far Cry 6, A3, uh, Ben folder, 
A3, A3, A3 are all your extensions of your mods. Now, once you're done, it shows you right here. See, that's where they go. See, Far Cry 6. Keep that in mind. Scroll down a little bit more. Read a little bit of this. You can read through that. You can main features of this mod are FOV unlockers, disable depth of field, bigger fog of war, and so on and so on and so on. Then you're going to download this file right here called libertad.zip. Download that. Put it in your downloads folder or whatever. Make sure this is your last warning to back up your saves in case something goes wrong. Then, when you're done with that package, you're going to open it up and you're going to be presented with a folder. Then you're going to take that folder that is opened up and you're going to extract it into here in your Far Cry 6 folder. Okay? And that's telling you here. Here, not this folder. This folder, Far Cry 6. Okay? And then scroll on down. And then you'll see the liberated mods or libertad mods. Here are some of the mods in this package. Clean view, clear phone grid, FOV unlocker, etc, etc, etc. Then come on down for the best mods compilation. Read through that a little bit. Read through that a little bit. Then you're going to download this file right here. It's on a Google Drive. Just click it and it'll download. Once that's downloaded... Come on to the final step. Then it tells you, you know, what to do. Another last warning. Okay. And then once everything is done, you before you put all your mods into this folder, you're going to run. <coughs> you're going to run this one time, but without mods. Okay. You're going to come. Don't put any mods in your folders yet. Come back over here. And run F6 Mod Installer. When you run that, everything should come up complete. And it will say that your game is ready for modding and so on. And once that's done, then you can start adding your mods into this folder. Okay? Now, once that's done, you come on down. And then after you're finished... And then you go to your archives that you download using 7-Zip or whatever. Extract all your mods that you just downloaded into this folder. Like so. Modded files. Also, do keep in mind that on the Nexus, you're going to want... You can come over here. I'll provide these, these few links for you in the description. This Libertad mod is the same mod you downloaded over here on Steam, which is back up here. It's the same same one, okay? It's just I'm going to provide the link for you. Sorry, I'm kind of scattered around a little bit. Sore throat, not feeling too good, but I'm trying to get this out for you guys. So anyway, so once you're done, it shows you about the mods. You can unlock cutscenes at 60 frames a second. Unlock unique weapons. Um... Time scale changer, weather system, all kinds of good stuff. Clean, uh, 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 unlock bundles, slow motion, all kinds of good credits to the people, and so on. Then you can also download it here. You can also download a custom radio station. Uh, these are just extra links provided for you. So that, that'll be on the main page as well. Now, the other mods that I additionally added to this was this real lighting mod and real lights mod. Uh, you can download this. I, I can provide a link for you. And the overheat, which provides your weapon, you know, when you're shooting and you're the, you know, your suppressor or the end of your barrel, whatever, starts to overheat. Well, this won't, this will keep it from doing that. So that's just a few extra mods. You can also go back and once you get those mods downloaded, and I'll provide the link in the description for you. You can read over it or whatever. And then once you're on the Nexus Far Cry 6 mods right here, then you're going to go to Popular of All Time. Okay? And this will give you all the mods. This is obsolete, so don't download this. It's already in the mods. Uh, Clean View is already in the mods. So make sure 
you look through here, see if there's any additional things you want to add. You're going to copy them into your mod files FC6. Okay. There's some reshades in here. There's only three pages. So you click on popular of all time. Uh, you can see I downloaded this radio station. I downloaded this reshade. Um, there's, you know, just testing the reshade. I got my own. You can add more uh, blood. You can take away the reticles and, and, uh, or the heat warning or whatever you want to call it. Uh, there's, there, you know, you'll just have to look that over on your own. But like I said, I'll provide the link in the description and you can go and look at them yourself. Now, once everything's done and you got all the mods that you want to play with inside of here, then, then you're going to go back to this main folder. You're going to run F6 mod installer again. Then once it loads, you'll be, you'll be presented with this screen right here, which shows all the mods that you have in that folder. Now, you, I can scroll down and you can see the ones that I have checked. I got Ultra Performance. Uh, these first four here under Nut Buster. Uh, disable Shooting. As you can see, I'll just scroll down. And the ones that I have checked are the ones that you can scroll up and down and check. And you can verify the ones that you want. Uh, clean Danny Female, it just makes her look a lot more pretty, so to speak. <laughs> Takes the dirt off of her. If you're running male, then you, you choose male. If you're doing female, choose female, etc. Uh, crosshair customization, you can add crosshairs to whatever weapons you want. Uh, a few other, you can add enemies and birds, things like that. Language switcher, you can make sure your language is on the language in which you prefer. Uh, more gunpowder, uh, gameplay. You can see a little bit of the things I've checked, and you can scroll back through the video and so on and select those mods. I'm not going to go over verbatim per each mod because that this video would be way too long. Jetpack, you can get a, you can get the wingsuit. Uh, longer days, shorter nights, or longer days, whatever you want. You can select whichever there. Uh, no detection meter, you get a new meter. Default, you get the modded like this. Uh, it's a lot of quality of life things. Uh, slower walk, uh, supremo cooldown from 10 to 30 seconds. You can add that. Uh, removers clean view HD gives you a nice clean you can turn everything on and then make sure you turn off remove chromatic aberration and depth of field make sure you turn that off because you're going to need to turn that off if you use that other mod I'll show you here in a minute if you use this mod right here lighting mod in real nights you're going to want to turn you're going to want to turn uh, this off Hang on. You're going to want to turn. Well, if I can get over there. You turn off the remove chromatic aberration, the very bottom one. Okay. Only if you're using this mod. Okay. But you'll see it. And then weather, clouds, hurricane, lighting, weather system, and so on. Uh, it gives you descriptions of each of the mods and pretty much what they do. <coughs> Uh, 60 frames, cutscenes, uh, turbine anchors, uh, key binding settings. Those, that's a, uh, uh, you know, that that has to be installed. Additional customization, uh, female hairstyles, uh, outfits, uh, base package that has to be installed. These definitely have to be installed because they're part of uh, scripting and stuff like that. Uh, radio stations, if you wanted to add different radio stations, um, fast travel points, mod splash screen, you get a different splash screen like this one right here, uh, more bow, more sniper zoom, uh, reduced, uh, and so on, weapon FOV mod, and so on. Okay, so once you're done with selecting all of your mods... And everything looks good, and you've gone through it, and you've selected everything you want. You're going to hit the W to install it. Then it'll start packing and configuring. And if everything comes back and everything says successful, 
and it says you may now run the game, then once you run the game, your game will come up and be running and look like this. Well, it's supposed to. <laughs> if you've done everything right, your game should look something like this. Very pretty, right? All right, let's get out of here before the music cuts on. And we're going to come over here. We're just going to take a little ride around the road for a minute. <coughs> Sorry about that sore throat, guys. I can barely talk, man. It's been going on for over a week now. Uh, we'll come over here. We'll come over here and grab a, a vehicle. I'll grab this one. I like this one here. I'll grab that one. And also, guys, I am running reshade of my own. Uh, loneliness and despair. Uh, these are the reshades I'm running right here. Normally, I don't use vibrance or colorfulness, but I thought, eh, I'll stick vibrance on there. Um, I got reveal top, clarity, filmic tone, uh, contrast brightness, saturation, ambient light, clarity to tint, vibrance, uh, FXAA, SMAA, immerse MXAO. And I was using HDR and immerse sharpening, but you know, that's all up to you. But, but you can run the reshade or your own reshade or however you want it. Or if you would like to have mine, let me know and I'll provide it in the link in the description down below if you want to try it if if you know if you want it but do keep in mind the settings and everything have to be exactly the same as mine in order to use it okay so anyway and you know how to use reshade home is the overlay key insert is my effect toggle so if I was looking out you know somewhere uh, we'll, we'll jump over here Wrong seat. There we go. And we'll jump in here. All right. We'll just go around this way a little bit. We'll hit Q to fly. did it <laughs> all right anyway um, let's run over this guy <laughs> hey okay well that was fun all right so yeah so you can kind of see you know what the game looks like <clears throat> give you an idea how things look let's um let's see let's find us a Kitty. A black panther. Sweet. Trying to give you an idea. There's an enemy. Sweet. That guy listens to you? Coño. That show was a mistake. But you see, you get the idea, right, guys? Looks pretty good. I think. 
um, if you like it, uh, you know, or there's any, if you like it and you need help or anything, you know, out of the ordinary, uh, if you're not sure about something, leave a comment in the description below and I'll be more than happy to try and help you out. Uh, and be sure to like, subscribe, and comment, and all that good stuff. And, uh, yeah, looks pretty good. Um, I'll show you the reshade on and off here in just a second. We'll go up here in the top of this building if we can access it. Uh, we can, cool. That way maybe we won't get attacked. Up. There we go. I can kind of see around a little bit. You can see I have reshade on. That's reshade off. Reshade on. Reshade off. Reshade back on. I don't know. I think it looks pretty good down here. Reshade is on, reshade off. On, off, on, off, on. Someone down there. Good. Panther? Hi. Hey. look a little bit white. I think it's because I'm recording or something. Because normally they don't look like that. Tank. Oh, that was it. Uh, <coughs> anyway, these are a lot because the fighting is just like insane. So anyway, uh, I'm going to go ahead and uh, leave it with you there, guys. And I uh, hope you enjoyed the video. And uh, let me know if uh, you like it. And um, leave a comment, like and subscribe and all that good stuff. And I'll catch y'all in the next video. Doomer Days is out. Peace.
good kitty. Calm down. Calm down, kitty. Oh, poor thing. Here, let me pet you. Good nice. kitty. Nice kitty. One more time. <laughs> Pisses him off. Good kitty.